Welcome back. Eli Lilly will now be investing $3.7 billion in manufacturing facilities in Boone County. That's more than a billion dollar increase on its initial planned investment. State leaders are ecstatic for the future of the county, but as Fox 59's Eric Graves reports, neighbors around the investment are nervous for the future. Boone County is changing. It's not just the Eli Lilly development right here behind me. The state has plans for a massive research park here that neighbors are worried their leaders are going too fast with and not thinking about the consequences for the folks around here. Signs of change decorate Whit Road in Boone County just north of Lebanon. Fences, flags, and construction cones mark where two future Lilly manufacturing facilities will one day make medicines. A $3.7 billion investment creating 700 highly skilled jobs. It's going to be a state-of-the-art facility that's going to be really put Lebanon on the map. Ground was broken on the Lilly facilities Monday morning. It's the anchor of the Leap Lebanon Innovation District, a planned 9,000-acre research and development park in Boone County. We want these next-generation high technology, advanced manufacturing. You know, we, we, we know what we want to see here. The project has been frustrating for many neighbors who live within the planned Leap area. Brian Daggy is one of those folks. He's been approached about selling his Boone County home. So far, the Daggies have held out. We're in limbo. What happens if the couple doesn't sell? Indiana Secretary of Commerce Brad Chambers says no one will be forced into a decision. If they want to hold on, they can hold on and we'll, we'll build a great infrastructure around them. So far, Eli Lilly is the only resident of the Leap Park. Lebanon Mayor Matt Gentry says they're working on securing more. Daggy says the unknowns around this development and who his new neighbors would be worries him, and he thinks that helps the state. Or are they going to count on the fact that they'll wear people down? and there'll be enough fear and concerns that people will just start selling for fear of what may be coming. Daggy and others also have concerns about where the water will come from to support such a huge development. Chambers says the Lebanon community was going to have a water problem soon without the development, but didn't give any specific solutions. Being able to, to put this significant economic development infrastructure in this area and at the same time solve a water problem for the region, that's a double bottom line and we're excited to be able to do it. As for what else could join Lilly here at this LEAP development site, the mayor of Lebanon says it's unclear right now, but he's hoping to have some more announcements this summer. Reporting in Boone County, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.